Hey everybody, Steve here, and today I am doing what I always do on this channel, which is diving into a project that I am completely and utterly unqualified to do. But I'm going to do it anyway. For those of you who have been around for a while, you know that this whole channel is about grabbing the bull by the horns and just going for it. Most of the stuff that I do in my videos I've never done before, but if you end up watching the videos, chances are I was successful. For the first time in my life, I'm not going Intel. First time ever. I'm going with AMD. I've been running my mining rigs for three years now with all AMD graphics cards, and I've never had a failure. So my confidence in AMD is pretty high, and this baby right here has gotten a lot of really, really good reviews. Check this out. This is an AMD Ryzen, if that's how you pronounce it. AMD Ryzen Threadripper 24 quarts, got 48 threads right here. That's the processor that I'm gonna be going to. Uh, let's see here. 3.0 gigahertz base, 4.2 gigahertz max boost. And in an effort to really get the trolls rolling, I got thermal paste. Because anyone who has ever watched a computer video on YouTube knows that no one in the world knows how to put thermal paste on correctly. You will always get ridiculed when you apply thermal paste in a YouTube video. So much that some manufacturers won't even do it anymore. It's kind of funny. But... Alas, I am going to apply the thermal paste in the exact way that AMD recommends. So there it is. All right, let's get started. This is going to be a lot of fun. Hopefully a massive, massive improvement to uh, uh, the channel and my ability to kick out videos. All right, so it's time to get into the meat and potatoes of this build. Well, I'm here to tell you right now, I am not a professional computer builder. I have never done this before with an AMD chip. So, all right, so here, what do we got here? We've got this. This is an AMD Ryzen Threadripper. All right, let's do this. Pretty case though. Look at that. That's like, that's something to behold right there. I almost don't even want to open it. All right, so there's that. So nice. That's some A plus marketing right there. And here's our little torque wrench. All right, so the directions are very clear on what to do here. Uh, right here it says open three two one and this one's actually labeled three and this one's labeled two and this one's labeled one so three two one and number one this guy pops up and then we're gonna grab these blue tabs Grab the blue tabs and lift them up. And we've got a protective, protective guy right there. All right, so let's grab him. And pull him out. All right, so I'm just gonna get him right there and put him aside. And what I'm gonna do is there is this plastic tab here that's in the place of where the orange thing's gonna go. 
It's just riding along the uh, inside of this black rail right here. So take him out like so. Take him out like so. And we're just going to replace him with this. All right, so here's what this looks like on the bottom. Don't touch anything there. All right, and then this is just going to slide right back down into where that plastic one was. And then push, and it clicks into place. I mean, it's pretty dummy proof. All right, so if you have any concerns about getting it right, you'll see that there's a little arrow right there. And there's a corresponding arrow on the orange right there. And our little orange guy is sitting in here nice and flush behind the black rail. So the next thing I want to do is get this out of the way. Like so. And then I'm just going to close this. Boom. Done. Simple. All right. So that guy's in place. This down. And now it says close. One, two, three. Okay, so here is the part that gets a little bit wacky depending on who you watch on the internet. Now, as an automotive guy, I've put heads on a car before. I've put intake manifolds on a car. And I know the importance of making several passes. However, if you watch AMD's video, they say go the whole way. So in contrast to a lot of videos out there that say go a little ways and, and stop, AMD actually specifically says in their video not to do it that way. So close one, two, three. Here's one. There's one. Here's two. There's two. Three. Done. I did it AMD's way. You want to do it any other way, do it. Do it the way you want to do it. I will leave a link to the AMD video in the uh, description of my video where you can see the guy specifically, specifically say, don't make several passes. All right. It's in. All right. So the next big subjective thing that we have to do is to put the thermal paste on the chip. The negativity against YouTubers who do computer videos is so great that a lot of the ones who specialize in computer stuff, they don't even show you putting on thermal paste anymore because they just don't feel like dealing with the negativity. Well, I could care less. And I'm going to show you exactly how I do it. And I'm also going to tell you that I spent several hours researching it, watching videos, and there is no general consensus on how it's supposed to be. All right. However, there was one video that stood out to me uh, by a channel called Gamers Nexus, where they did a whole bunch of different, uh, they did a whole bunch of options and I watched him do it this way. And one of the things that he commented on about in the video was that this was AMD's way in their marketing paraphernalia of how to do it on a thread ripper. And I will tell you that I scoured the internet and I couldn't find AMD giving any kind of official uh, guidance on it at all. So from what I gathered from his video and a couple others is that these AMD thread rippers have four dies. They're rectangular. They're in the middle of the chip. And what Gamer Nexus said was um, that AMD said to put five little dots. So without further ado, I'm going with five dots. And incidentally, I took off the uh, thermal compound that came with the uh, thermal take and I will be substituting it with some Arctic MX4. All right, let's do this. So I'm going with the five dot method. So for those of you who want to get your panties in a bunch, by all means, if you can find a better source and you can cite the source, please feel free to comment. Otherwise, keep your traps shut. All right, here we go. Five dots. One dead in the middle on the Z. Between the E and the N.
Here's my five dots, bitches. All right. This is clean. Got my five dots. Ready to go. All right, that's that. A total noob at this. Does the thermal paste and shows it to the world. Well, that's it for the install of the Ryzen Threadripper. They've really done a great job at making it extremely easy. Hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please like, comment, subscribe, and uh, many more videos to come, including the rest of this build and just so much more. So uh, thanks for everything. Appreciate your time. See ya.